Getting gas from here to your car is a job Juan Sanfuentes knows well. He's delivered fuel for more than two decades, driving millions of miles. There's no shortage. I, I, I promise you, there's no shortage. A lot of these terminals, they run off of plantation and, uh, and colonial. So if one goes down, they got a backup for it. Since the colonial pipeline shut down on May 7th, Juan hit the road. Thousands of gallons loaded up behind him. What he saw at the gas stations turned into a problem. People just go on and buy gas when there's no really reason for it. Gas stations can only get a certain number of gallons per day. When we used to sell a certain amount of gallons in one day, now that's being double, if not triple, and that's causing us to have issues. Issues you may have experienced. Instead of long lines at the pump, it's longer lines at the fuel terminal in Greensboro for him, plus a demand he can't keep up with. The lines been real bad. Uh, sometimes we had to wait between two to three hours. Just Tanker truck drivers from up and down the East Coast lining up too, taking gas back to their states. Only when they're, they're not getting any product and they're not getting any fuel down there. So they come down here. On Thursday, he stopped by six stores delivering 36,000 gallons of gas. It may not be enough. Our biggest customers that they'll sell between nine to 18, sometimes 20,000 gallons in one day. But some of those are now selling 36 to 40,000. While things slowly get back to normal, Juan says there will be plenty of gas at the pump soon. Everything's going to be okay. Trust me.